Welcome to another episode of Busking for Unity with me, Marcus K, and Marga Fernandez. Santiago. We are at the famous Santiago de Compostela in the north of Spain in Galicia. This is where all the pilgrims arrive when they do the El Camino de Santiago, where you can see them all either walking or hobbling along, celebrating and congratulating each other. It's a historic place and we're going to see if we can uh, play a little bit here. I've no idea whether the police will stop me here because I haven't seen anyone play here, but sometimes you just got to go for it and hope for the best. This is what a good Spanish coffee looks like. Cheers. New adventure. We're just arriving in Betantos. It's a hidden gem. In La Coruña, we said goodbye to Marga's daughter, Carlota. We are saying goodbye to my daughter, Carlota. Do you think she enjoyed it? I think she did, but I think she always missed her friends there in La Coruña. So if she's happy, I'm happy. Hola! Hey! A dog. We're on our way to find our Airbnb coffee at a gas station, a petrol station, close to Santander. Strong. Number? It's a 13. But we're looking at on our way to Santander, completely misty. We can't see more than maybe eight meters, so hopefully it'll clear up soon. We are in Santander, north of Spain, where we were hoping to have a good busking session today. And we went straight to the promenade along the water. Unfortunately, they are just taking away some tents and everything is blocked and they're doing work and everything. Right where I was playing last time. So that might be out of the question. The world famous Santander Banco. So in the end I played in the same place as last time. Played a bit longer than usual. So we caught up a little bit with the finances. Yeah, I like Santander. Santander. We are trying to plan our day. We're on our way to Pamplona because I love to play in Pamplona. And Marga found an Airbnb which she is very excited about. With it's nice and elegant and it's very cheap. So we're treating ourselves to a night of luxury, affordable luxury in Pamplona. I'm actually quite excited to play in Pamplona because it was one of the first places that I had a good experience busking. And there's a video of me playing Susie Q in Pamplona. Look what Marga found an Airbnb for only 29 euros. This is proper executive busking material. It's got a wonderful bed, nice and elegant and beautiful. This is my most favorite place in the world to play on the street. It's a big plaza called Plaza del Castillo in Pamplona. Police always just wave at me when they go past. So, unfortunately, I kind of half remembered that on a Tuesday, 
the uh, council organized for these people to play, so they very politely reminded me of this fact. So there's two options, either wait till 8 or find another place. And over there, they said if you go to the other side it'll work, you'd be okay. So I'll take it apart, put it on the trolley and see how I feel after that. Meanwhile, we'll enjoy the the music they're playing is very nice, actually. This is the problem with playing on the street. There are never any guarantees. This is us on an evening <laughs> when I can't play in a particular place and there's nothing else to do. So we go for a walk. In a nice place. Very nice, space full. with big houses and trees and flowers. I'll show you a house. Yes. This is a house. Three. There's lots of them in this street. That's what we do. The weather's turned bad in Pamplona. And I checked the weather forecast on the website and it looked like San Sebastian was still without rain. It's raining here and you can hear the thunder in the distance. So we're hoping to outrun this weather by going further north to the sea. Good session in San Sebastian in the end. It was raining when we arrived. We arrived late. And the police stopped me. Somebody called the police. But uh, they said they had to stop me. And uh, obviously the next time they would have to give me a fine and take all my equipment. So uh, I'm all packed up and wondering what the next move is going to be. It's a real shame because I love this place. But anyway, I had a good session. So I'm quite happy about that. Bye Sebastian for now. This is where we enter France. Continue on A63 for 27 kilometers. Good morning from Biarritz. We're on our way to the center of Biarritz where I've played various times in the past. First coffee in France after all the good coffees in Spain. We'll give it a test. It's a five. Cheap coffee from a cheap cafe in a paper cup. Seven in France. Very good. Okay, so here we are. This is my spot where I usually play. So we're gonna go and get our equipment and have a go. And this is Old Blues, Mississippi Fred Down. Ah, me encantó, desde que estábamos allá arriba la escuchamos, nos quedamos un buen tiempo escuchando, tuve que bajar a comprar el álbum y bueno, ahorita de regreso otra vez. Muy bien, ¿y qué uh, piensas de su música? ¿Qué, ¿Qué te hace sentir? Me encanta, es traer el espíritu del blues original, que además con la mezcla y los sampling que está haciendo, está fantástico. Bueno, pues muchas gracias. No, ¿de qué? Venga. Mucha suerte. We already did one session in Biarritz, a short one which went very well until the uh, construction noise was getting too much and uh, as planned we are now continuing towards Bordeaux You win some, you lose some. We're in Bordeaux 
This afternoon we played in Biarritz, which went surprisingly well. And here I played before and it went really well. Tonight there's a band playing over there. They're just kind of gearing up and they're going to be very loud. And even though I'm not nearly as loud as they are, uh, there's a man who came from that apartment over there and he's very upset that anyone's playing in his square. So he said, I'm going to call the police immediately. And I asked him about the other music and he said, well, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> that's the way it goes. Es lo que hay, which is Spanish for, Cuando. that's how it is. Today is a day to travel and chill. We're not going to try and do any busking today. We're on our way to La Rochelle, which last time was very good. Uh, finished the translation job this morning, so we're pretty much even for this month. We're breaking even. So every now and again, you got to take a day where things are a bit more relaxed. So now we're heading for a place where we can have a leisurely breakfast. That's how we roll. Coffee test in a pâtissier. One euro, see what it's like. Six. In France, almost everywhere, and I think it might now be a rule as well, it comes in this plastic, biodegradable plastic. It feels really nice, and then you don't have to worry about using plastic bags because this will just disintegrate in a very short period. The worms will eat it solution to the whole plastic problem. We just need to stop buying the bad stuff and demand that they package it in biodegradable plastic. And you've got this song called... I have a song called Cut the Plastic Out. This was after um, and I, I think everyone on Facebook has seen the videos of, of all the plastic floating around in the ocean. It's a terrible thing to see. Uh, so I saw it just like everybody else and, and I wrote a song, Cut the Plastic Out. And uh, so, yeah, I play that on the street sometimes. I should do it tomorrow. Mm. Especially for you. So keep in touch. And if you wanna, if you're enjoying our adventures, then uh, please pass it round and see if you can help us out by sharing it. And there's also a way to help us financially with our uh, travel costs, uh, and uh, that's via PayPal Me. Uh, and we're hoping to put a link somewhere in case you want to support us, in case you want to see us further afield, travel to those far away places and mingle with exotic cultures. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Adios. Adios.